Hello, this is Janet from Servants for His Glory 44, and I come in the name of Yehoshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. I pray you're all blessed and doing well. This is a Psalm 91, Psalm 112 intercession. And I give the disclaimer that it will be spirit-filled, meaning I will be praying in tongues at select times. And the verses that Abba has given in support of praying in this manner are found in Romans chapter 8, verse 26 and 27. And I'm just going to quickly read these passages. It says, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searcheth the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will. And I like to say Yah, meaning Yahuwah, Yahushua. So I will not be asking for an interpretation as I pray, but I believe that the Holy Spirit can pray more precisely than I can in my understanding. I also believe that mysteries are unlocked when we pray in our heavenly language. And I give this disclaimer in case someone is joining in for the first time. And I'm very grateful for those that Yah has led to stand alongside and to join in concerning this intercession. It's such a blessing. So I'm going to go ahead and get started now. Dear Heavenly Father Abba, I thank you for this time once again where we can just stand with one another in unity. I thank you, Abba, that your word says where two or more are gathered that you are in the midst. I thank you that there is power in agreement. And we come together lifting up our petitions on behalf of what is needed. And we recognize that the need is great. And Holy Spirit, I ask that you would have your way in this time of intercession, that I would decrease and that you would increase. Father, if there's anything within us that displeases you, anything that we need to get right with you about, I ask that you would bring it to the light. And I thank you for the promise, as in 1 John 1, 9, that it says, if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So Abba, I ask that you would, you would take the scales off and open our eyes and continue to set us apart, continue to sanctify us. Your word says that you are holy we desire to be more and more like you. And so I ask that you would continue, yes, continue the work, purifying every aspect of who we are. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those that have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Yehoshua Mashiach. Abba. As we lay down every burden, yes, as we lay down every burden, I ask that there would be an exchange right now. And that you would take all of our heavy burdens and that you would place upon us your yoke, which is light. Yes, your yoke, which is easy and light. And block out any distraction. 
and that we would enter into your presence from a place of rest, a place of peace, that she would pour into us. Yes, that you would pour into us your love and a fresh anointing. You would fill us to overflowing. Yes, Abba. I ask that you would give us the mindset and the heart posture to be led, to be yielded vessels, led by your spirit. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for the work in which you do. And I ask that this day, that you would quicken us in all our ways. You would set a watch over our mouth, keep the door of our lips. That, Abba, you would help us to be still. Yes, that you would help us to be still and to move as one, one mind, one heart. That we would not seek to do anything apart from you. Abba, I ask that she would help us. Yes, help us to come as just little children. Yes, come as little children, dependent upon you in every way. Let our faith increase. That we would have faith concerning the promises that you continue to bestow to us. That we would trust that your goodness and your mercy, that it shall truly follow us all the days of our lives. Help us to guard your commands and to hide them in our heart. That we would not sin against you, Abba. And I thank you for the covenant that you've established with us. Yes, I thank you for the covenant. I ask that you would renew that covenant with us even in this moment. As we seek to lay down our lives as living sacrifices. Holy and acceptable unto you, which is a reasonable service. Help us to accept the cup that you have given us to drink. To continue to yield. To not wrestle. And I ask, Abba, that you would help us to overcome the flesh in every way. Abba, I ask right now, and I thank you, Holy Spirit, for this prompting, that anything within us that would hinder the work and the progress that you want to bring forth, Abba, I ask that you would lift it off of us right now. Abba, set us free. Yes, set us free. If there's anything that would hinder the work and the progress, the growth that you want to bring forth, that we would not put you in a box. But as we yield right now, I ask, Abba, that a lifting off would come forth and anything that would hold us back from the fullness of what you want to do in our heart, in our mind, in the calling that you have bestowed to each one of us, Abba, let a lifting off come forth. Abba, we do not want to be a stiff-necked people that are resistant to change. But Abba, as we yield to you, I ask 
that you would help us again to just come before you as a little child. And I ask that you would help us in the ways where we are needing your help. And we pray this on behalf of our brothers and sisters. Yes, Abba. That she would move mightily. Let every mountain that needs to be uprooted. Let it be cast into the sea. And let it on the other side. We let it on the other side. So let it on the other side. So let it on the other side. No ever a so let it on the other side. We let it on the other side. Let it on the other side. Vo let it on the other side. Let it on the other side. Let it on the other side. Ara let it on the other side. Abba, I see to keep us from falsity. Any falsehood, deception, lies and schemes and plots of the enemy. Yes, Abba, I ask you to expose it. Expose it. And attune our ears to hear like never before. Your still small voice. And to be obedient to those things that you bring forth. Yes, let us be obedient. Let us walk in obedience. And in greater levels of surrender. Abba, as we're crying out to you this day, Abba, I ask that you would bring more and more souls into your kingdom for your name's sake. Yes, Abba, I ask for an abundance of your mercy to be poured out and that souls, as we're crying out to you, yes, Abba, let souls enter into your kingdom. Yes, Abba. And let there be genuine change, transformation in their mindset, in their heart posture. That they would not be lukewarm in their conversion and in their walk. But I ask, Abba, that you would raise up an army of disciples. Yes, an army of disciples. Those that have counted the cost or would consider counting the cost and pay the price as you paid the price, Mashiach, Messiah. He said, no greater love hath no man than this, that a man would lay down his life for his friends. And I thank you. Yes, I thank you, Messiah. I thank you, Yahushua, that you laid down your life. Because you saw something within us. You wanted to redeem us because of your love. I thank you. I thank you for all of it. Yes, I thank you for pouring out all that you were for us. I thank you for being our advocate. I thank you that you stand with us in every fiery trial. Abba, again, as we're crying out to you, yes, we're crying out to you, asking for the spoils, yes, asking for the spoils to be bestowed to us, the spoils of the enemy, Abba. That everything that the enemy has tried to do against the saints, the schemes and the plots and the devices, 
Abba, I ask right now that you would disrupt it. Yes, you would bring it to naught. And that the spoils from this time, Abba, that many, many will be set free. And I receive the spoils. Yes, I receive the spoils. And I ask Holy Spirit that you would pray on behalf of that which is needed, that the plans of the enemy let them backfire this day. Every calamity. Yes, every calamity. Every disruption. Every distraction, diversion that the enemy would try to bring. To bring affliction. To torment. The saints, let those plans backfire. And no let of on the dead of the day. We let of on the dead of the day. We let of on the dead of the day. We let of on the dead of the day. We let of on the dead of the day. We let of on the dead of the day. We let of on the dead of the day. We let of on the dead of the day. We let of on the dead of the day. But I ask even concerning car accidents that would take place. I ask Abba that she would go before, that she would intervene, that she would protect your people. Yes, you would protect your people. And I thank you, Abba. Yes, I thank you concerning all situations where you have intervened on our behalf. Things that we weren't even aware of. You send your holy angels. You go before us. You stand beside us. You're our rear guard. So Abba, as we're crying out to you, we receive the spoils. The captives will be set free. The eyes of the blind will be opened. The ears of the deaf will hear. The bound would be set at liberty. The acceptable day of the Lord, Yah, will be preached. Yes, Abba, we receive these things by faith. Prodigals, let them come home. Let those that are asleep to the times in which we're living in, let them awaken and see truths for the first time. Continue to awaken those that need to be awakened, Abba. And we receive the spoils. Yes, we receive the spoils. And we ask, Abba, we ask that you would do the most this day. That you would multiply our prayers. That you would send out a mighty move of your spirit. That signs, wonders, and miracles would go forth. Abba, we plead the cause of the poor and needy, those that are in need, and we're all in need in some way, shape, or form. Those that are in need financially, those that are in need spiritually, physically, those that are struggling with addiction, temptation, whatever the case may be, Abba, that you would intervene as we're crying out to you. Abba, I ask that generational bondages would be broken off of your people, off of children, that you would pardon that which needs to be pardoned, that once again, you would go before. Yes, Abba, I ask that you would go before challenges yes he would go before on behalf of your people and Abba, i ask you to make the rough places smooth and the crooked places straight 
and bring newness. Yes, bring newness. And those bondages, that captivity that has kept many generation after generation in bondage, I ask Abba that you would break those bonds. He has to break those soul ties. Break those ruts, those repeated cycles of frustration and failure in the lives of your people, in the lives of generations. Yes, that what afflicted the father, what afflicted the mother, it would not carry on down the bloodline. Abba, I ask that you would restore the years that the locusts have eaten and bring something new in the lives of your people. Yes, bring something new. Abba, I thank you that we don't have to expect the same old, same old. We don't have to stay stuck in stagnancy and complacency. But Abba, I see to stir up a fire. Yes, stir up a fire. And burn up all that is wood, stay, hubble, or wood, hay, and stubble. Abba, I thank you for this passage of scripture that you led me to read. I'm just going to read these words found in 1 Samuel chapter 30. I'm just going to read part of this story. It says, It came to pass when David and his men were come to Ziklag on the third day, that the Malachites had invaded the south and Ziklag and smitten Ziklag and burned it with fire and had taken the women captives that were therein. They slew not any, either great or small, but carried them away and went on their way. So David and his men came to the city and behold, it was burned with fire and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captives. Then David and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives were taken captives, Ahinoam the Jezreelitess and Abigail the wife of Nabal the Carmelite. And David was greatly distressed for the people spake of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved, every man for his sons and for his daughters. But David encouraged himself in Yah, Yahuwah, his God. Abba, this story is just a beautiful example of redemption. And so, Abba, I just ask, as we're crying out to you, that you would remember those, those of our brothers and sisters that are distressed, that are suffering with sorrow of heart, that are discouraged, that it seems as if it's one thing after another. And we lift them up to you right now, Abba. And Holy Spirit, I ask you to pray for the Father's intervention. Abba, I ask that she would help them to turn to you, to cleave and to cling unto you, to encourage themselves, yes, to go into the secret place and to not leave until they find a renewed sense of hope that they would be encouraged, that she would turn their sorrow into joy. 
Abba, I ask that you would meet the need in their life, whatever it is, as we all recognize that there are seasons sometimes that are tough, those valley moments. And so we pray on behalf of our brothers and sisters, those that are downcast, those that are struggling, and we lift them up and we ask, Abba, that you would strengthen them, that you pour out your spirit upon them and remind them that all things work together for their good and for your glory. Abba, I ask for divine strategy. Yes, I ask for your counsel, for wisdom, for revelation, for your people. On behalf of what they have need of, I thank you, Abba. And then in verse 17, it says that David came back as, as you had given him counsel to pursue. That David smote them from the twilight even unto the evening of the next day, and there escaped not a man of them, save four hundred young men, which rode upon camels and fled. And David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away, and David rescued his two wives. And there was nothing lacking to them, neither small nor great, neither sons nor daughters, neither spoil, nor anything that had taken to them. David recovered all, and David took all the flocks and the herds, which they drove before those other cattle, and said, This is David's spoil. And so I am very grateful, Abba, for this picture of divine turnaround. And so I speak over the lives of your people. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Yes, nothing missing, nothing lacking in the lives of your people. And I ask Abba that you would honor these. You would honor this and just act of remembrance as we're lifting up this passage of scripture. And I ask Abba that you would go before those in need, those that are distressed, those that feel like once again they have gone through thing after thing after thing, and that you would bestow to them the spoils of victory. Yes, I ask, Abba, that you would bestow to them the spoils of victory. That all things, Abba, would work for their good. That you would bring forth breakthrough, divine turnaround. And that they would come out stronger and better and more blessed than before any type of adversity. Yes, Abba, I ask that in the lives of your people, that you would bestow to them great spoils, that you would get the glory. And that it would instill in them greater ability to trust going forward as we lift up one another. Yes, we lift one another up. And I ask Abba for your mighty hand of intervention. Yes, your mighty hand of intervention. Let nothing be missing, nothing lacking in the lives of your people. And I pray this on behalf of all of our brothers and sisters in Messiah, those that their name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life, Abba, we ask that you would send your heavenly hosts, your angels out, 
your angels on assignment to bring things into alignment your high-ranking warrior angels to battle on behalf of those that are being attacked concerning the kingdom of darkness who recognize that we do not fight against flesh and blood but against powers and principalities yes and those of the kingdom of darkness those that sit in high places and so we ask abba whatever the need is that you would send out your angels on assignment to meet the needs of the present hour and the lives of your people and that great spoil will be bestowed because of who you are abba because you're gracious and because you love your people I declare by faith, Psalm 112, Praise ye, Yah, Yahuwah, blessed is the man that feareth Yah, Yahuwah, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. And his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in Yah. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he see his desire upon his enemies. He has dispersed and he hath given to the poor his righteousness. Endure forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Abba, I thank you for these powerful words. And I thank you that your word, it will not return unto you void. So I ask, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach, by the power of the blood of the Lamb, by the power of the finished work of the cross, by the power of the resurrection, by the power of the Logos, that you would pray on behalf of the saints and on behalf of what is needed in this hour all over the earth, in alignment with Psalm 112. He Vi et e lerevo no de resiente, vo nera sole revaniete, vi lerevo no de resi nerevo lerena de era sulerent de resiente, qui lerevo no de si revo lerena diete, vi lerevo no de resiente, e lerevo no de resole revente, era volera no de resi, fi no revara sure variete, lerevo no de resiente. Vi lerevo no era si lerevo no te anno era si lerevo no te era si vi lerevo no te era si nera lerevo no te era si vi ete vi lerevo no te era si lerevo no ora su lerenteriente lerevo no era si lerevo no te era si vi lerevo no te era si te lerevo no te era si vi lerevo no o lerevo no te era si lerevo no te era si lerevo no te era si Viti lerevo no ora sure veriete, nire vera sole rendere resiente, che lerevo no ora sole rendere resiente, lo nere vera si lerevo no der resi, i lerevo no ora sole reventeriete, vi lerevo no ora sole rendeite, nere vera lerevo no der resiente, lerevo no der resurenti, chi lerevo no ora si lerevo no ete, Nera vara sura veriente, ara lerevo no te resi, nura veriete, chi lerevo no, era se lerevo no te riesi, vi e no de reservo no de lerevo no te resiente, vi lerevo no te resiente, vi lerevo no te resi, lerevo no te resi, i lerevo no te resi, viete, vo lerevo no, era si lerevo no te resi, 
Thank you, Abba. Yes, thank you, Abba. I ask you to shine your light. Yes, shine your light upon mankind. Shine your light. Pour out your glory. Yes, pour out your glory that all would see. And that all would see your sovereignty, your power. I ask you to pour out dreams and visions, pour out revelation. Yes, Abba, that many would turn to you. That many would be encouraged. Let change come forth. Yes, Abba, let change come forth. Even as the seasons change, let change come forth within, within us, within our circumstances, within our family structures. Yes, within generations. Within nations. Abba, break up the lies of tradition, the lies of religion, and bring forth divine change. Yes, let change come forth in the earth. Thank you, Abba. Abba, I recognize that your hand is upon these little ones. Yes, your mighty hand is upon this generation. And I ask for an outpouring of your spirit on the youth. Yes, on the little ones. And that you would be glorified through it. Protect them from the deceptions that are being bombarded at them. Protect their minds, Abba. Protect their hearts. Protect their eye gates, their ear gates. Help their identity to be rooted in you, Abba. Not what the world tells them. Abba, stop those that would commit suicide if you don't intervene. Yes, Abba, I ask you to reveal. Reveal yourself. Reveal your love. Reveal yourself unto them. I ask for mercy. Yes, I ask for mercy. And I declare by faith, Psalm 91, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will save Yah, Yahuwah. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. Yah, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the air that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth that noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eye shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made, Yah, Yahuwah, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and dragon, and shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Abba, I thank you for these words. Powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword. These words that will not return unto you void in the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach. By the power of the blood of the Lamb, by the power of the finished work of the cross, by the power of the resurrection, by the power of the Logos, 
by the words of our testimony. And Holy Spirit asks you to pray on behalf of the saints, on behalf of what they have need of, on behalf of the needs of mankind, salvation, deliverance, the light to shine forth, whatever the need is. I ask, Abba, that you would meet the need, that you would prevent, yes, you would prevent calamity by your hand of mercy and compassion, that in wrath you would remember mercy. But nevertheless, whatever your will is, Abba, that is what we seek. And so, Holy Spirit, I say to pray on behalf of all these things in alignment with Psalm 91. A V let of on no dirt a sea. V let of on no dirt a sea. Let of on no air. Let of on no dirt a sea. Cave let of on no air a sea. Let of on no dirt a sea. V let of on no air a sea. Let of on no dirt a sea. Let of on no dirt a sea. V day let of on no air. Let of on no dirt a sea. Not of all let of no dirt a sea. V a day let of on no dirt a sea. Let of on no air the. Ni let of on no or a solar and dariete. Kill let of on no air a sail, let of on no dead a sail, let of on no dariete. V let of on no air a sea, let of on no eight, let of on no dead a sea. V let of on no air, let of on no dead a sea and day. V let of on no air a sea. Kill let of on no or a solar and dariete. Ner let of on no dead a solar and dead a sea. V let of no a let of no de reciente. K let of no at a suriviente. Anna de varata. Anna de varata. Anna de varata. A new let of no de reci. B the a never on to reci. V ravo no de a siete. Thank you, Abba. Yes, thank you, Abba. Thank you, Holy Spirit. A the let of no de reci. Abba, I thank you for this time. I thank you for the fruit that shall come forth, and I receive it for us by faith. Yes, I receive it on behalf of your people, on behalf of your purposes, Abba, by faith. In the mighty name of Yehoshua HaMashiach, and Holy Spirit, I see to pray on behalf of everything that's been lifted up, Yes, that everything that has been lifted up, that it will transfer from the realm of the spirit into the natural for such a time as this. And that angels on assignment will be released to bring all things into alignment favorably for Mashiach. Yes, for Jesus, Yehoshua, and they ate the Lerevon Notarasi. We let of no, a let of no, that it a sea. We let of no, that it a sea, let of under eight day. Abba, what a blessing it is to be. Yes, what a blessing it is to be connected to the vine. Yes, we recognize that apart from you, we can do nothing. But I thank you for bringing us in and including us in all that you want to do in this hour. We love you. Yes, we love you, Abba. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, thank you, Abba. Neda let of all no day. Era city. We let of all no era suravariente. And neda let of all no terrasi. We let of all no era sea. Let of all no eight. They let of all no terrasi. Thank you, Abba. In Jesus, Yehoshua's name, we pray all these things. 
Amen. Thank you for joining in. Have a blessed day or a blessed night. Until next time. Bye.